Modern engines use electrically actuated fuel injector to inject fuel into the engine. The ECM gathers information from various sensors and uses various parameters to generate the pulse that controls the fuel injector. Reasons for no injector pulse and engine no start. 1. Your engine won't start if you have blown fuse and relays. Modern engines are equipped with a mechatronic system which has several fuses to protect electronic parts. If the fuse related to injectors or the ECM is blown, there will be no power to the injector or the ECM. This can cause no power to any of the injectors on the engine. This also happens if the relay related to engine ignition is failing. 2. Your car might not start if there's air lock in fuel lines. Modern vehicles have specific fuel pressure sensors to govern the fuel pressure status of the car to facilitate controlled fuel injection. If there is any form of air gaps or air locks near to the fuel pressure sensor, it reads inadequate fuel pressure and ECM will not power the injectors. You will have to bleed the complete system in order to start the engine. 3. Your car won't start if you have a bad fuel pressure sensor. Fuel pressure sensor is a vital element to the modern vehicle which ensures proper and controlled combustion to take place. If the fuel pressure sensor is bad and reads under pressure even if the fuel pressure is adequate, ECM won't power the injectors. This will throw a trouble code and check engine light flashes on the dashboard. 4. Your car may not start if you have a bad fuel pressure regulator. Similar to the pressure sensor, the regulator is also a vital element to the modern engine. It regulates the fuel pressure to the correct units so the engine gets the proper amount of fuel at that time. Over time the fuel regulator can fail and will affect the fuel pressure in the line. If it's stuck open, the fuel pump can't make enough fuel pressure in the line. This change in parameter is picked up by the pressure sensor and signals ECM. Thus ECM refuses to power the injectors up. 5. Your car may not start if you have a failing fuel pump. Fuel pump is designed to deliver fuel to the ignition system at the right time and at the right pressure to facilitate trouble-free engine starting. But over time the pump wears out and fails to deliver fuel at the right pressure. This causes low fuel pressure in the fuel line and ECM won't power the injectors. 6. You may have problems starting your car as there can be internal shorts in the injector. It is obvious that the electronic equipment fails over time. Similarly the injectors can burn up internally and make a short inside the actuator. The short will be picked up by the ECM which stops the complete injection sequence and throws a check engine light. Now the tricky part is, the trouble code generated might be stated specific to a certain injector but it could be any one of them. For example, suppose the third injector in your engine is short. But when you start the car and if the first cylinder is fired first, ECM can throw a fault code related to first injector short or open circuited. So if you come across such situations, check all the injectors to find the right one and replace. 7. Your car might refuse to start when you have a faulty cam and crankshaft sensor. Crank and camshaft sensors play a vital role in engine ignition and performance. Camshaft picks up the position of valves and crankshaft picks up the position of piston in each cylinder via crankshaft, all this to facilitate proper fuel injection timing. If anyone on the list fails to operate, ECM cannot detect the proper timing and fail to power the injectors. This throws an engine trouble code and the faulty sensor needs a replacement. 8. When your car refuses to start, there might be a chance you have a faulty engine immobilizer. Modern cars are equipped with engine immobilizers to prevent vehicle thefts. The immobilizer is directly connected to the fuel pump and fuel injection system. It's a possibility that the immobilizer system can fail internally and signal not to engage ignition so the power to fuel pump and injectors are terminated. If this happens, you might see a key symbol on the dash illuminating. 9. Your car will not start if you have corroded or cut wires. In order to function the electronic parts, the medium that joins them should be in perfect shape just like the human nervous system. Over time the wires corrode or break causing improper data sent to ECM and improper signals received from ECM. Either way the engine won't start. 10. Your car might not start if you have a bad ECM electronic control module. Engine ECM is the brain of the car. It gathers information from different sensors on the engine and powers the injectors for optimum performance and trouble-free operation. 
Over time, the ECM can fail or shorts internally which interrupts the engine operation mainly with no power to injectors.